Well, Mary might have had a little lamb, but I can guarantee you it wasn't as small as our next guests. Farmer Ben Polner got the surprise of his life when little Wally was born, weighing in at just 900 grams, smaller than a can of Coke. Yep, he could well be Australia's <laughs> smallest lamb ever. Ben and his daughters, Abby, Georgia and Hannah, join us from their property in Warrnambool, with Wally. Thank you all for coming on the program. Ben, Wally was a little tiny one indeed. How did the size compare to your other lambs? Yeah, the average lambs are about three to five kilos. Um, Wally came in at a bit over 900 grams. So anything below three kilos has a dramatically reduced chance of survival. So we knew we were up for a big challenge um, when we first found Wally. Um, but thankfully, he's pulled through so far. Oh, he is adorable, a little miracle. Georgia, your mum's a midwife and helped nurse Wally back to health. What sort of care were you guys all providing in those first crucial days? Well, we brought him inside, put him next to the fire. We um, wrapped him up with lots of blankets and um, a hot water bottle to keep him warm. And then we did hourly feeds um, every day and night. And we had um, a little syringe that we had to use because he couldn't latch onto the teat yet. Oh, bless. Hey, Hannah, you even managed to track down a nappy for Wally, which was probably a pretty good idea. <laughs> Where did you find one? What did you use? Oh, look at that. So, I have this box of dog clothes from a few years ago, and, you know, we were looking for something to use as a nappy, and I thought <laughs> maybe, like, I know these could do, and so I went and got them, and it turns out they fit in perfectly. Oh. <laughs> so, we needed someone to put his tail, so they cut a little hole in them. Don't know if you can see that. <sighs> <laughs> and it ended up doing just fine, like, it was fitting perfectly. Um, why did you call him Wally? Yeah, does he go missing sometimes? <laughs> uh, he's a bit of a Wally. He, he, <laughs> right from the beginning, he demonstrated a fair bit of attitude. So <laughs> he just ended up with the name Wally. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Abby, we hear Wally now <laughs> prefers his human flock to his sheep flock. Is that right? Prefers hanging out with you guys. Yeah, well, we try to take him out every day, oh, but he wants nothing to do with the other sheep. He always sticks close to us and tries to run back inside whenever we take him out. So he likes the indoors a lot. He's got a nice warm fire in here that he um, he's hard pressed getting away from. Oh, he's so cute. Hey, Ben, you've uh, you've figured out that Wally's eyesight isn't the best, so he's just had a trip to spec savers. Is that true, or someone jeeing me up with this question? <laughs> no, no, this is true. This is true. So oh my gosh! We had, um, well, Wally's um, yeah, developed some eye issues, and that's uh, you know um, probably due to his very small birth size. Um, we've been taking him to the vet. Um, they've been unable to really get to the bottom of the issue. Spec Savers gave us a call and said, hey, we've got some pretty fancy equipment here. Why don't you bring him down and have a look? And so we did. Um, <laughs> they were absolutely fantastic there at Spec Savers. They were able to diagnose his issues. Um, they've also set us up with an appointment with a uh, specialist eye surgeon uh, for animals in Melbourne. Um, so while he'll be going there on Tuesday, um, to have his first consultation and hopefully we can prevent Wally from going blind. He's, um, you know, as it stands at the moment, yeah, if we don't do anything, um, the poor little lamb is going to go blind on us. Will he have to wear glasses? Oh, no, it's past the glasses stage. Oh, well, he's... He, he's... Uh, <laughs> sorry. Well, at the, moment, <laughs> at the moment, he's, he's running around bumping into things. You know, oh, it doesn't stop him. He, uh, he just... Yeah, he bumps into stuff a lot at the moment. Don't tell him but, I asked that. Yeah, if we let it keep going, um, that's when, um, you know, we're going to have issues. And that's why we've uh, we've set up a GoFundMe account to try and help pay for some of Wally's expenses. So the, the surgery alone, we're talking about $6,000. Yeah, he's, okay. he's become such a part of our family and such a yeah. part of the community down here that we really want to try and do whatever we can and do the best by Wally. Yeah, and George, just on that, so the way we can follow Wally's journey, is that the GoFundMe page or is he on Insta? Is he already a bit of a star? Yes, he's got um, <laughs> his own Instagram page, so everyone loves him. Um, oh, look he, at him. <laughs> we also post a lot of him on uh, the Volcano Produce page on Facebook, so, and as well as his GoFundMe page. So. Of course he does. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're just a small spray-free market garden in between Warrnambool and Port Ferry. And Wally's one of our 
Um, we have the sheep here as the cleanup crew. So they go in and they, um, it, when we finish a, you know, a patch of vegetables, the sheep go in and they clean it all up because we don't use any sprays. Um, so they're, they're our weeders for us. Um, yeah, so, you know, Wally's just one of the, one of the, um, the sheep that have, or the lambs that have come from those sheep. And he's got a big job to do in the future, helping us clean up the weeds. So we want to give him every chance we can. Oh, what wonderful, lovely people you are. Thank yeah. you for coming on our program and we wish Wally all the best. Of yeah, course. story of the week, I'd say. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs>